I'm through very <clears throat> ever in my life, let alone at this age. So a little background, I met my husband Greg in college where we were both studying agriculture. I sat next to him because he was smart. <laughs> We were in farm finance, and I knew it was going to be a hard class, so I thought I'd better sit next to the smart guy. <laughs> Our family owns and operates Porterdale Farms, which is just around the corner from the church. And this is our family church, and I'm so pleased to be here today in my home church. And thank you, ladies. You're awesome. I was raised on a farm in western New York, so I love this rural life. But I live 20 miles south of Buffalo, which makes for a little bit different community than what we have here. We married in 1987, and we proceeded to quickly have two little boys, David and Jamie, who are now 26 and 24. I don't know where the time has gone. We took a little break, and we thought we were done. <laughs> And then I changed my mind, <laughs> but Greg didn't change his. So I told Margie Harriman over here that I would like to have another baby. And so she prayed, along with my moms and prayer ladies. And Casey was born on Margie's birthday. <laughs> Brain women, beware. <laughs> but just a couple weeks before Casey was born, um, my mother-in-law had a near-fatal heart event. It was caught by God's grace, just in time. And so she started at Samaritan, and she ended up at St. Joe's, and I went down to see her in the ICU. And I waddled in, <laughs> eight and a half months pregnant. And she told me, don't you worry. Don't you be afraid, because I'm not. If I live, I have our family. We have a wonderful home. If I don't, I'm with Jesus. I can't lose. 